Hello and welcome. This is today in the news. First, the highlights. Federal government takes steps to improve security at rail stations across the country. APC asks presidential election petition tribunal to dismiss petition filed by PDP. Returning member of House of Reps Miriam Onyoche joins long list of male members elect iron speakership seat. Three story building under construction at Banana Island and Lagos collapses, trapping workers. The federal government has taken steps to improve security at rail stations across the country by approving a contract for the purchase of baggage scanners that will be installed at all train stations. This week's Federal Executive Council meeting chaired by Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo also approved six billion naira for a two-year maintenance contract for third mainland bridge in Lagos. Nigeria's rail transport system has become a soft target for terrorists, bandits and criminals. They have carried out attacks that led to deaths, kidnaps and destruction of infrastructure. This has also forced the authorities to temporarily halt rail transport across parts of the country until safety is assured and guaranteed. The All Progressives Congress has told the Presidential Election Petition Court to dismiss the petition filed by the PDP challenging the election of Bola Ahmed Tinubu in the 25th February 2023 presidential poll. The ruling party told the tribunal to reject the petition in its notice of preliminary objection. The party noted that the tribunal has no jurisdiction to adjudicate on the petitioner's allegation predicated on ground D in paragraph 16 of the petition and the related paragraph 146 which lacks necessary facts or particulars as re required by paragraph 4 of the Rules of Procedures for Election Petitions. The petitioners did not provide the particulars of polling units where any irregularity or non-compliance was recorded. The APC therefore prayed the tribunal to dismiss or strike out the petitioner's petition for lack of merit. A returning member of the House of Representatives, Miriam Onoaha, has joined the long list of male members elect I in the speakership seat. The legislator unveils a seven-point agenda as she formally declared her interest in Abuja. A list of members elect threw in the heart in the ring ahead the inauguration of the 10th House of Representatives is growing by the day. In the last two weeks, more males have entered the race. Maki Yalaman from Jigawa State is one of them. Is returning to the House for the second time and believes it possesses the requisite qualities of a speaker. A three-story building under construction has reportedly collapsed in Banana Island, Lagos. According to the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, workers are trapped in the building and the agency said it has mobilized to ensure rescue. The Lagos state government has meanwhile disclosed that it's investigating the collapse of an unapproved seven-floor building under construction in Banana Island, Lagos this evening. Few who sustain injuries are being treated and there is no fatality.